Well, back in the early 70s, a lot of the local boys were all getting jobs with the APB because they were out spraying for, I think, initially Parkinsonia and then later on for Nagura Burr and stuff like that. <clears throat> I started work on the Derby Wharf in about 1970, and sometime in the early 70s, I can remember cargoes of drums being unloaded from the state ships, which were destined for APB and Derby. And the ship's officers that supervised the unloading would tell us that these were drums of some type of poison. Um, all these drums were stored as cargo on the foredeck of the ship, because it had to be in the open air. And we were told when we were unloading it to be careful that we didn't cause any damage to the drums. The drums were unloaded from the ship onto the Derby Wharf, um, probably stored outside the shed and would have been picked up later on by the um, APB. Okay, the um, APB main office was in Lock Street, next to what was the MMA office at the time, which is now the Shire office. And um, the APB had a, a shed out of town where they used to store all their, whatever they used for their pest control on that. Um, and then the drums would have been taken from there <coughs> to be used out in the bush where the boys were doing their spraying. Um, I used to come across the boys in Fitzroy Crossing quite often because I used to drive a fuel truck up there and I'd quite often bump into the boys when they were back in their depot and they had in Fitzroy that a yard there where they used to um, keep stuff and spend their time off. Well in the early days like you say the boys were, were big fit men, you know, big fit healthy men and um, I knew Cyril well and over the years Cyril deteriorated and in his last few years, he lived just down the road from here in um, old Gumpelberger's place. And by that time, he was just as shallow a bloke he used to be. Um, and a lot of the other blokes were the same. They just, their health just seemed to deteriorate. Until today, there's not many of them left. But there were um, stillbirths and babies born with deformities and, um, yeah. And, the, and the, the women used to get some of this poison from washing the clothes and stuff like that, which is probably what, what caused some of the deformities and stuff in the kids. Probably for the government to come out with all the information it's got that it's never released and just tell the truth to the people. So we all know then. <laughs>